Good evening, everybody. We'll start with football. Kirksill lost his home opener to Blair Oaks on Friday. The Tigers only trailed by a point at the half thanks to a couple of great defensive plays. However, Elias broke the game open in the third quarter. Despite the loss, Coach Conrad Schottel was pleased with his team's offensive performance. Blake Lewis is phenomenal. It's what we expected from him. He's got the potential to hit the home run ball for us. Um, and we, we had some good compliments um, to him. Colton Gillespie played really well. I thought John Bohan played really well at Q. Um, if you assess our offense last year at Blur Oaks versus this year, I mean, um, tremendous improvements. So that's exactly what we're looking forward to. Macon was solid on both sides of the ball as they defeated Palmyra 20 to 7. The Macon defense set the tone early. Then Nash Waller would find one of his speed guys, Kevin Edwards. The offense was good. However, the defense was better, and that's what Coach Pete Class wanted to talk about. I was very, very happy with how we played defensively, especially against the run game. We were very concerned about their running back um, coming in, and I felt like our kids did a great job against him. Did you set the tone early in that game? Defensively, we certainly did. Right off the bat, we had a couple of big stops um, on first and second down on their first drive, and I think that kind of did set the tone. In high school football from last Friday, Pekin started off its season with a 41-7 victory over Albia. Nice run by Monaco Rakena, who hits the corner and is gone for 22 yards. Pekin wins it 41-7. Part of Pekin's early season success is having the same coaches and the same offense and defense for the second year in a row. Because we don't have to teach every how we talk and all that stuff. We can get in and go with certain things. So that's a huge plus. Truman State is only 11 days away from its 2017 opener as they will travel 665 miles to face Michigan Tech. After two weeks in camp, Coach Greg Nesbitt likes what he sees. I've been extremely pleased, uh, Fred. Uh, the guys have come to work every day to get better. Uh, it seems to be a tough-minded group. I think they're excited about getting on the field to compete. A um, little banged up in some spots, but getting folks healthy. Uh, but it's been next man up, so it's been a really, really good, solid, productive camp for us. Truman State Volleyball scrimmaged several teams on Saturday. So, Coach, how'd you do? You know, it went well. It gave us an opportunity to kind of see where we were after a week of preseason. And so, overall, with the day, I was pretty happy. While Mother Nature ruined the eclipse outside, there was a great eclipse in the newsroom as the paper plate would cover the deep dish pizza. What a moment, something I will never, ever forget.